Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have a very interesting video for you. Today I will talk about the printing in Linux. Now in general, when you print basically in Windows or Mac OS X, you need to download the driver, either a CD or DVD is provided with the printer or you have to download from the external website and install it. Now a much of time is required to install the software and then you can use it. But in Linux, surprisingly, it is very easy to use. It is very too, very easy to use the Linux printing and basically you just connect the printer and automatically it will download the proper driver, proper generic driver from the internet or if uh, the driver is present in the database. So it is the very much easy and uh, it, it takes a few minutes or few seconds you can say and your printer is ready for printing. So I will show you in this video that how easy uh, to set up a printer and I will uh, print a test page. So like this video and share this video to your friends okay, and subscribe my channel. So let's check it out how easy the Linux printing is. Okay, so we have uh, now in our Linux system and it is my uh, Debian uh, Gnome edition uh, of the desktop and uh, you can see this is the Gnome shell. Now, yeah, uh, first of all, I have to find the uh, printer software that is the uh, print settings. Okay, so go to the print settings and you can see this is uh, a, very, a very good uh, software utility to configure uh, printers and add to add printers. So first of all, I have to unlock it okay, with my administrative password and, uh, and then add printer. Now the printer is already connected with uh, my laptop. Okay, so it will automatically detect it. You can see that it is my Canon printer. Okay, so Canon printer is there. Okay, and it is automatically detecting. So go forward and uh, it will search automatically the printer driver present in our database. Okay, right. So you can see that uh, it is searching. Okay, uh, it has found and it is the Canon uh, recommended. You can choose uh, any other option if uh, the printer if the printer driver is basically uh, not present in the database so you can search for uh, online okay but in most of the cases you can uh, use the first option that is already present in the database so basically uh, you can choose the first option so this option uh, uh, not working right now okay so you just choose the first option and go to with the recommended settings right so go forward and Okay, so you can see this is the cups plus Guten print utility. This is very much important. Okay, so Guten print you have to install it. Either it is uh, pre-installed or you have to install it uh, with the apt command. Okay, sudo apt install and printer driver Guten print. So this is very very useful software, very very useful package uh, for the printing. Okay, this is a must have thing of the printing, right? So you have to install uh, this uh, driver, printer driver Guten print. And you can see uh, it is already uh, installed in my uh, PC with the 5.3.3.5 version. Okay, so I don't need to install it again, right? So, uh, so just uh, forward it and uh, go with the settings, recommended settings. Okay, so all of our, uh, our printer is almost ready. So finish it by applying. Now, okay, now uh, it is finished. Now uh, I can print the test page. Okay, and uh, we can print a very nice test page. Okay. Uh, it will have uh, all the colors okay so now you can see this is the submitted now you can see this uh, printer uh, software this this inbuilt printer software has some settings okay very useful settings you can see okay you can uh, see the device path and uh, you can see enable or disable uh, printer you can enable or disable it or uh, you can basically change uh, the paper size and color uh, either uh, you can uh, use the rgb color for color printing or uh, grayscale printing okay for black and white printing and uh, page quality standards you can uh, adjust okay and all the things a lot of things are there okay so this is very good so you can see that your that your printer is added now if you add some another printer connected uh, with your uh, pc and add it uh, so no problem with that so you can see uh, all the things are there right so you can enable or disable from here also okay so basically now you can see this is very easy actually very very easy oh, okay you have a minimal time to uh, install the software okay and set up the printer so it is very much easy so thanks for watching have a nice day